Hello everyone, so in this video I am going to give my review on the Prinsype Divesti 8 with the price of at pretty much 1.8 million dollars. Customization on this vehicle, well this vehicle does offer HSW upgrade which costs 1.1 million dollars so very expensive but I would say it's worth it I guess especially if you're going to take it out to races a lot but yeah with the customization options you do get a good amount of category options but in those categories there's not a lot of options it's not great with the options to be honest personally can't make it look different on stock a lot to be honest you can't change it a lot unfortunately but still it has the important things you need to customize which would be like delivery and the spoilers i would say so it does offer a good amount of those anything outside of that is just not many options to be honest not great overall you can change the trim color of the vehicle as well if that's what you were into overall i would say this vehicle does have a good amount of customization options but nothing really amazing or outstanding but still look into the livery section and the spoiler section for the best bits for the vehicle performance on this vehicle with or without HSW upgrade, it's really good, if not great, depending how you look at it. But even without HSW upgrade, the top speed, acceleration, even the handling is really good here. That'd be like the top three best things for the vehicle. And it does a great job doing it, to be honest. It does great. But even a HSW upgrade, which will help with the top speed and acceleration, it looks great when you compare it to the price at the very least. And of course, yeah, you need to get the HSW upgrade, which costs a lot as well, which I think personally is worth it. It's not necessary to get the HSW upgrade, but it would be a nice bonus. Without the HSW upgrade, the top speed it can go up to is 131.75 miles per hour. And with the HSW upgrade, it can go up to 151.75 miles per hour. It gives a 20 miles per hour boost, which can help. The biggest flaw though with the vehicle is the brakes, unfortunately, but that does happen pretty often with HSW vehicles. Even without the upgrade, the brakes is not really good at all. But with the handling, it could save in some situations, but just at the very least, tap the brakes. Don't tap it once, tap the brake button a couple times or hold it, depending how fast you're going. The brakes are a big flaw, but still a great vehicle to drive. My final thoughts with this vehicle is I think it's a great vehicle overall, especially the price of it. It's a no-brainer almost. And if you can, get it if it's on a sale. It'll look even more better. Get the HSW upgrade, which will help it even more and it'd be great to use in free mode use especially. And you could definitely use it as well on race courses. You could as well. But yeah, overall, I recommend it. The customization though is a flaw in my opinion, it's not that great, there is some good amount of options, it's not the main factor for this vehicle, it's about the performance. That's how I look at it in my opinion, thank you for watching this video everyone.